Hi, welcome to Drive With Care. <laughs> I don't want to speak too long because this could be quite a long journey. We're going to go from Canterbury to Whitstable. I don't know where in Whitstable, maybe the Oyster Harbour, but we're, we're going to Whitstable. The journey's going to take us on the Whitstable Road and we'll go through Bleen and Peen Hill before getting there. So that gets us to Whitstable. So let's do it, let's see what happens. Quite a bit of traffic around, so um, quite a few hazards to be aware of. I almost want to just do a drive without doing hazards, but the whole purpose of this channel, right? Hazard awareness and observation. So yeah, we'll keep we'll keep with the theme, and I will shout out and mark the screen with yellow and red squares etc into a 20 zone could be a nice drive the sun is kind of straight up but a bit behind me so we don't get glary screen I might have chosen wisely <laughs> slowing down for traffic lights going through the crossing. I may have to edit the video. kind of suspected that this would happen. 12 seconds later. There's no point um, shouting out the hazards because um, I think you can see them all. It's just very busy. see road closed but you still go for it and it's often the case they're doing work on maybe one side of the road so they still allow traffic to go through or they've just not taken the signs away I think the road closed was back there so you know go figure because there's a sign on the right here which I bet says road closed so road, road closed ahead that way. Hmm. What can I say? Give it a shot. See what happens. The worst that can, the worst you can do is turn around and go back. But you might just get through. So now, as we leave Canterbury, it's just a nice country run all the way through Bleen and Peen Hill, Honey Hill and Peen Hill. Hopefully, no traffic in front of us. Lovely. Pedestrian in the road. It's a vicar. Vicar in the road. <laughs> Camera probably didn't pick it up, but had the old dog collar on. Currently doing 30. I didn't see any signs saying it wasn't 30 stopping for the lights but it's still kind of a built up area isn't it 
the seats of education for Kent, or one of them, Kent College, yeah, the um, Catholic school back there, I think the university is just up here, St Edmund's School, schools, schools, unis, well the university was back there wasn't it, I think I went past it as I was guessing about road closed. Bleen, already out of Canterbury and into Bleen. Humps for 50 yards, or is it hump in 50 yards? Beginning to run out of places to visit. I think I might need a few more suggestions from you lot. I've got one to do, which will be the follow on from this video, which we'll see in a few days' time. Ahead, traffic calmed area. Calm down, are right, Calm down, calm down. And Bleen again. Hmm. <laughs> Said back there that we were entering Bleen, and now we're entering Bleen. Maybe there are two Bleens. Junction on the right, zebra crossing ahead. To read the road signs gives you a hint of what to expect on the roads. No speeding along on this road, is there? Conga line, or is it pickpockets ahead? I never tell. I think it's elderly people. an hour. This might be Honey Hill. Bend to the left with junction. And there it is. Junction on bend. It wasn't a junction, it was an entrance to a farm shop. It appears I'm driving into the sun. I thought the sun would be behind me. Maybe I'm driving due yeah, northwest. The sun will be setting in that general direction. Another bend in the road with the junction.
Nice run though, nice and smooth. Bend in the road to reduce speed now. Poor collision record at Bend Ahead. <laughs> they should they should perhaps do something about that, you know, get better. If it's pork and <laughs> you know, you get an F instead of an A plus. Poor could do better. Forty mile an hour still. I'm not seeing any markers for what towns or villages we're driving through, but I know that there was Honey Hill and then Peen Hill before we get to Whitstable, so it's got to be one or the other. Bends in the road and a crossroads ahead. through Peen Hill because here's the roundabout that leads to Whitstable so I'm going straight across on this roundabout but it's actually I was going to go in the left lane but it's marked London for the left lane so I guess they want you to use the right hand lane to go straight across normally with two exits you just go in the left lane right if you go straight across want to go down into Whitstable, see if I see any hashtag entitled people. <laughs> see my video up here about hashtag entitled. I can see the sea and the wind farms. Going straight across, so I'll stick in the left lane. done this route before where I came out of that junction but because I'm doing the whole route Canterbury to Whitstable it seems appropriate to do it again I remember doing this it was raining that day I had windscreen wipers quite a few people it's a beautiful blue sky clear day it'd be interesting to see what it's like driving down Whitstable High Street you know of an evening because it's now evening 20 past six in the evening still might get a lot of people, you know, in the town. Currently doing 30. Yeah, it was raining. I remember there were a lot of cars with no headlights on, weren't there? I've got a hazard warning lights on the van, so I'm going to have to squeeze out, but there's nothing coming. Well, there wasn't when I went for it. Diesel's cheap here, 144.9. 149.9 where I live. How can it be 5p cheaper a litre? 20 miles out of town. Is it because I live in the sticks? Quite a clear run. No cars coming out of junctions, that kind of thing. Delivery van, joining the road. Car parked on my side. Don't need to give away though. So that's cool. Traffic lights are changing ahead. I will slow down, but I wonder if I can stay in second. Will it change before I get there? Or will I have to stop? It's changed. That's good. Get under the railway bridge and then down the high street. Rather nice. So it'd be quite
quite busy now. Nice VW classic car alert. Another classic car, MGB. Nice one. Left hand drive as well. Must have imported it. It's got a UK registration now. 20 mile an hour zone. Zebra crossing, no one waiting. Right, from here on in, I'm just going to be watching out for pedestrians. Pumping the road. Zebra crossing, no one waiting. Bus coming. car parked on the pavement with the double yellows. I'm going to have to stop on the zigzags to give the bus room. Mm, don't like doing that. And therefore lots of cars coming behind. Let's go for it before anyone else turns up. <gasps> Pedestrian. Hashtag entitled. Zebra crossing, no one waiting. What a quaint little town, love the old buildings. Someone near the crossing, he's not waiting, that's good. I'm going to end up where that beam has just come out, so I'll go around and then park up there to end the video. It's probably been a long one this, but like I said at the beginning, sometimes I just want to do a driving video with no hazard perception. And so, if you're doing a driving video, you're going to spend at least 30 minutes doing a drive, aren't you? I know I've seen some 4K driving videos online on YouTube, and they're like an hour, two hour long. And I guess if you just want to sit there looking at a road trip, then not a bad idea. Let's go around here. Find somewhere convenient to stop, which I think might be after this narrow lane. Pedestrians on both sides of the road. 10 miles an hour, as an FYI. not parking I'm just pulling up to stop the video <laughs> so there you go what did you think of that Blean not Blean Canterbury to Hearn Bay nice little run actually um, yeah I'll end it there thanks for watching and bearing with keep the likes coming because I've now hit from the last video it was 296 I think I'm now at 302 subscribers thank you new subscribers much appreciated and if you're watching and you're not subscribed then hit the subscription button and notification bell and blah 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 and do it what everyone else does <laughs> bye for now see you in another video drive with care